Welcome back everyone to another episode of our Let's Play. It's a rainy day today and I finally learned that I don't need to hold my hand up everywhere I go. You know? Like, well, well, when I hit something... Okay, yeah, that's a stupid bug. <laughs> I loaded up my game and it said, It fixed the bobbing problem with your hand. Oh, no, they just completely got rid of it. Should we attempt this today? This achievement? I think we should. That's an eyesore. I want to take that down. God, that only took an hour. All right, so one thing I've been picturing for a long time is continuing this tree line around my little lake here. Why do I want to do that? I don't know. I think it'll look good. I, Oh, that's a lot of trees, though. i got to find out how many saplings I have. Just disenchanting some of that raid armor because I have armor laying all over this place because I had a raid the other day. Um, I knew I'd step in this lab and then want to work on it. Ugh. Like this room. Oh, wait. I did finish it. What am I waiting for? Oh, yeah. Okay. I might want to work on this today. This is the potion testing. Remember, we're going to put a dispenser or drop. Yeah, dispenser right there and load it with, uh, of course, potions. We're going to put a test subject in here, and this is the potion testing room. Oh, I want to work on it now. How's the bee study going? Yeah, I want to build these doors, too. They aren't even finished. You get old bee study. Oh, my God. Oh, they're still in there. All right, afraid I wasn't going to be able to do this, but I found some bone meal. This is all I have in my world. I had to go everywhere just to find this. And then I got three and a half, or I mean two and a half stacks of that. Got to use my last rocket here. Saplings. Um, So let's try this. Huh. It's a chicken. Oh my god. Great time to run out of rockets. I used as much as I can. I only have 23 left and 12 bone meal. I hope this doesn't look stupid because in the end, I really wanted to surround my place with these trees. Oh my God, that looks really good. My render distance is a little low. Um, I might wanna get rid of this one right here. No, maybe not. Oh, wow. Oh my God, I, I'm sorry, but do you just see how much atmosphere that adds? And imagine if I made it thicker. What if I go, oh my God. And don't ask how this is a tropical area. <laughs> a T T I C. And it's time you come down for this year's holiday. Is this the third time we're using this little tree here? Yeah, because I have this box right here. 2017 Christmas decorations. And this is what goes on the tree. Alright, the tree is all decorated and everyone threw their gifts under their oh Is that an anvil? I wonder who got me that. I've been needing a new one. Oh, we got some presents. Oh, a shovel. Oh my god. Someone went all out. Oh, I can't wait for this Christmas. <laughs> um, so uh, I think I did that. I know this is just a little simple treat. No, shut up. This is my special treat. This is like the third year we've been using this. Go down the ladder. <laughs> um all right, I need some blocks here. Does that look good up there? Oh, you can't even place it there. Okay, so no. I'm just gonna go back with the good old lantern. Or, sea lan or beacon. <laughs> there it is. Oh wait, I wonder if this'll look better. Hang on. Sorry for putting that in your face. These, because they actually give off light. I know these are different colored right here. Is this soap touch? No. But would these look better? Oh, probably. All right, that looks awesome. Now cut the Christmas music. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, by the way. Um, yeah, I know. Hey, some people start celebrating in the beginning of November. That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> All right, I know this is risky on the beta, but I really want another one because the house feels empty. And the holidays are coming up. I want another glowing one. If you didn't know, this one despawned like 10 or no, like 20. No, like 15. I don't know. Some odd episodes back due to, I guess, just a bug. Just despawned. I don't know why. All right. So I'm assuming I'm going to do it the same way as last time. I made a ladder all the way from down there up to the third floor here. And I just let him follow me this way. And then I broke this away right here. 
put some signs down, and then he just magically fell in. Just like that. Up. Oh, how to get rid of those. There's our master crafted staircase. Now, after all this, I should probably check if he's still alive. Now, I used to have them all over the place. I used to have one circling this pond right here, but they all despawned. I think I had about five roaming my world that I never used to get a mob head. But I remember... Oh, no. Well, see, one used to float down there, too. But he's gone, too. But I think there's one in these woods that are right there. I better not get too close, though. Please. Where is he? <gasps> yes! Oh, my gosh. I can't believe he's still over here. Come on. Now, it's been a while since we've had a last thunderstorm on here, but I would love to get a lot more and bring him into the lab and start performing experiments on him and see what they can actually do. That's my derpy mushroom. Your cousin did that. Okay, this is where things just... Oh, God. This... Oh. Okay, this is where things start getting a little sketchy. Good job. This is where I messed up last time. He would never come in. No. Oh, I thought he was going to do it again. Oh, okay. Welcome to my house. Your name's going to be Glowing One Two, okay? As in two, number two, not Glowing One Two as in T O O. Two as in, yeah, you get it. You know math. Now you should just fall right in. You're dumb, right? Whoa. Uh, okay, I don't want him in this room. Ha! Huh. Oh, don't panic. Oh. oh, I'm panicking. No, no, don't go that way. Okay, back down this way. What the heck? Are they smarter than that now? Signs don't bother him? As in, just fall in the hole. Please go in the hole. Get. Oh my god, they're so dumb. But clearly not. Be oh my god, what? Oh, now I have a roaming enchanted creeper in my house. Oh god, where'd he go? Oh god, he's right there. What the heck? He's so fast. Oh, do I have time to do this? Don't follow me. So, I guess signs don't work anymore, but don't come in here. These should work, right? Fence gates. Oh, God. Huh. Where's he at? Oh, my God. I don't like this at all. Look. A solid floor. No. You... S oh, my God. Why'd he go down there? There you go. Wow. That was so difficult. It's like once they lose track of you, they lost all interest. It's like, oh, he is no longer in my line of sight. I give up my entire life goal to kill this man. Okay, I didn't mean to go down there. I got an idea, kind of. This is just going to be a complete... Oh, I was going to hit him in. This is my last idea, trap doors. If this doesn't work, I don't think it works anymore. I didn't just hear that, did I? How? Cool. What a waste. Oh my god, the amount of time I've spent... Well, crap happens. Oh, well, I'm just going to leave all this here. Um, so when I get a thunderstorm, I will make sure to get another one. What's your name again? I don't know. You're an offspring, though, of the original cats of my world. So are you. Wait, don't I have one in my office? I do. Oh, well. Today. Oh, wow. It's already almost full. We got to retire a pick. The breach and clear. Um, this is just a mining pick that I cleared large areas with with the beacon. So, it is now retired on the retirement wall because I can no longer repair it. Along with the Expeditious Mark III, that's the, I think that is. Alongside my Minesweeper, this is the oldest pick in my world. Got my Silky Spade, Chainsaw, Bob the Pick, Turbo Silk, Needle Nose, Work Pick, Multiplier, Breach and Clear. Man, I gotta do something with this. I'm gonna have, yeah, once I get this full, I'm gonna have to make a larger room for this. In the good old slime science center. Uh, I just want to mess around in here for the rest of the episode. I want to go ahead and get these filled up with those because I'm tired of seeing just one with an end crystal. How do you make it again? Just, yeah, obsidian glass and ender eye, correct? I believe I have quite a bit of that. Uh, yeah. I need you. I need you. I'm running back home because I have no... Get down. Get... No. Yes. I don't have any rocket fuel left. I need you. 
That was easy. And um, doing this in the process made me realize I need a hanger for my lab, an area where I can glide in and kind of, you know, refuel. I want, I, I kind of want it to just look like a hangar, but be an entrance to the lab. So once I fly in, there'll be a runway, and then we can have refueling stations, which may be like elytra repair stations, which we most likely won't need, or a rocket refuel station. And let's check this. Nope. And this is my main reason why I don't know if I'm going to build a mob spawner, because I looked up the ones a lot of you guys sent me, and most of them are just dark room spawners, which is very much what this one is up here. And I'm here all the time, and that's the darkest room. At least I think it is. I'm going to go up and check. It is. And as far as I can tell, I don't want to make another huge spawner that's going to spawn nothing. The gates are open, water is flowing, and there's no light in here. So if you have any idea why this might not be spawning anything, please let me know. Is it? I, my only thing I could think of is I have a lot of stuff already spawned around here, such as my sheep, other animals. Other than that, I don't know. What? That wasn't... Oh, I need a ghast here. I actually have plenty of those, I think. Yep. Alright, give me three of those. Careful. Nice. No! There we go. Wait, are they synced? I didn't even think of that. Or are they different? Oh, they are different. I guess that doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. What am I talking about? Oh, it looks so good now. I like it. Another thing that's kind of driving me insane is these doors. I don't know why I never finished them. So, I want to finish them. <laughs> so, doors in this lab, I kind of all want to be different in their own way. So, this one needs to be secure, so I put iron. On there even though it probably would be better with glass so I can see in there but no no that's what this is for because you can run through this one really quick perhaps I should finish this while I'm up here and then I got this to look down on them okay they're still alive thank God <laughs> yeah I need to finish this too I just need some stairs of uh, quartz oh, it always drives me insane <laughs> forgot they can do that now um, so I want to glass on this one, but I don't know if I want to do observer blocks over this. The observer blocks just look the best. There we go. That one looks nice. Now I like having glass on these types of ones that are like small rooms because you can actually see what it is or whatever. I need to put B study as a sign right here. Now this one, I want to be a bit different, although it does look really cool in there. So I'm probably going to use glass once again, but maybe I should try a different block out here this time. Doesn't work like that. Oh, crap. Forgot. Run free, little one. Have fun life in the flat world. What did I do there? Interesting. All right, we're in my test world, if you couldn't tell. Um, Wait, what the? Why are those full blocks? They're slabs. What the heck was I doing? That's going to drive me insane. Hang on. <laughs> Let me fix this. There. Fix that. Beautiful. Awesome. All right. I was kind of experimenting. What is that? That is a blast furnace. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, I couldn't even come up with any in here. Crap. Okay, I just went with cyan terracotta, and I think that is a good alternative. Um, there's just so many little blocks in this game that look industrial, and it kind of annoys me, but what can you do? What was that? I just hear a zombie. I have one headphone on and one headphone off, so I can hear other things going on in my house, and sometimes things just sound weird when I have one headphone on. <laughs> so... Big decision. I think I need right or left. I'll make sure to go put these names on. I'm just not going to do it right this second. Um, There. Got more. Awesome. And then I have some more stuff I want to go do in the main lobby. Um, I'm going to place all these down first. I'm going with Birch. Oh, I forgot we were expanding this way. What was I wanting to do here? But I'm going with Birch because it looks the best, in my opinion. Okay, I never really finished this room, and that bothers me. Oh my god, so much stuff is bothering me all of a sudden. Um, let's try that. A little bit of Podzo with a little bit of birch trap door, with a little bit of spruce fencing, with a little bit of jungle leaves. And that creates a nice bush, but it's very dark. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, this room is a bit old. This was before I 
started doing... Okay, yeah, I really need to fix this room. Because I know the lighting is stupid in here, isn't it? Oh, this is a Dallas mistake. I really didn't want to do this, but if I'm not going to do it now, I'm not going to do it later. <laughs> I got to tear out this whole floor because I want to place all this with torches how I normally do. What I do is line all torches throughout here. And then I kind of pattern pattern them in the middle. So there's a way where it won't make the floor have these weird shadows. All right, got all that cleared out. Now just to lose a lot of torches. Now that should light the room properly. If you're wanting to do this too, it's pretty simple. Um, you got to make sure your floor is made out of slabs. And all around the edges, I just do... I, I mean, you don't have to do this. I just do it for some reason. I do all torches along. And then I skip one, and then I go every other block, skip one, and every other block not aligned with these. See what I mean? And voila, what the... Why does that look weird? I... Huh. <laughs> Wait, what? That is weird. Why isn't it doing that over here? Okay, that's gonna bother me. There's like, you see that extra, it's extra bright around here. Does that fix it? It does, okay. Oh, um, <laughs> ignore what I said about having a hole. It works in some areas like this for some reason, but in small areas it doesn't work where you do a long strip of lights. Huh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I think that fixed it. Oh, yes, all smooth now. Maybe put a couple more right here, or would that be too many? Nope, can never have too many bushes in this game. Especially when your place is all white. You need to have some shrubbery in here. Speaking of shrubbery, I really need to do something in that middle area in there. Yes, that looks really good. Okay, we're still not finished with this room. Um, I need to hire my receptionist. Gotta name them. They're gonna be my best friend. And then in here, oh my god, I, this is just like my favorite area. That's why I'm so picky on what to put here. I want a tree and some bushes, but I don't know what kind. I got bad news. Has nothing to do with Minecraft or me. Has to do with Hytale. You probably already know the news, but the game is not being released until 2025. Isn't that ridiculous? I'm just kidding. Not that far, but it is still far. 2021. That still is a hard blow, because it's 2019. Yes, it's about to turn 2020, but then we got to go through all throughout 2020 without Hytale. And then, knowing them, they're probably not going to release it until the end of 2021, so we got to go through all of 2021. <laughs> oh, no. That was really sad news. I know they want to perfect it. They're, they're overwhelmed with the amount of success it has gotten from the trailer and the hype for it that they just don't want to disappoint us so that's why they're working on it harder i understand that but gosh dang i really wanted to play that game next year today's comic question of the day comes from gw469 since your house is victorian architecture what is your favorite type of architecture mine is either ancient greek or victorian good question now i always say my house is victorian and that is because of the tall spirals and towers i have but I think mine is more along the lines of fantasy Victorian because you won't see a Victorian house on stilts, that's for sure. Like, all this is physically impossible, most likely. If I wanted it to be physically possible, I'd have to use, like, more thick logs like that. But, um, yeah, this used to be my favorite. I'd say Victorian used to be. And I can say my mansion is probably of that Victorian style, but... Recently, I have been really getting into modern. Not modern as in your average American modern family house, but modern as in high-tech modern. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I saw a house in the side of a cliff that was, like, super square, but had very large glass panes on it, and it looked so neat. And I think I ever since I saw that picture, I want to remake it in Minecraft. And I think I want to do it on this world. I just don't know where I'm at. I, I got to make it something, though. I can't call it my house. It's going to have to be like an outpost of some sort, but I want to make it. Yeah, so I'm really getting into modern, um, so we might try that somewhere on here sometime. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. I really appreciate you coming by, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Come your sheep. The wool gets hairy. Bye-bye. <laughs>